पुलिस एसपी सिटी चला रहे हैं गोलियां काफी नहीं आ रहे हैं प्रदर्शनकारी Protests raged across India as Dalit organizations took to the streets. Agitations were reported from Punjab, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, and other parts of the country. But why are India's Dalits so angry? Well, it has to do with the Supreme Court's verdict on March 20th. The apex court ruled that automatic arrests and registration of criminal complaints under the SC ST Prevention of Atrocities Act of 1989 would no longer be allowed. Activists saw this as a dilution of the law meant for the prevention of hate crimes against the Dalit and Adivasi citizens of India. The Modi government swung into action on Monday and has filed a review petition against the Supreme Court's decision. But many believe this may have come a little too late. Protests have already spiraled out of control in some parts, even turning violent. At least four people were reported to have been killed during the protests. In Meerut, a police chowki was set on fire by protesters. Train services were hit across the country as protesters blocked rail routes, and internet services were down in several parts of India. But the Supreme Court decision was only the last straw that broke the camel's back. Resentment among Dalits has been building up over the last few years. In Gujarat, it was the Una flogging case that raised temperatures. In UP, it was the Saharanpur riots. Bhim Army Chief Chandrasekhar has been kept in jail by the UP government over the last nine months. B R Ambedkar statues have reportedly been vandalized across Uttar Pradesh, and the UP government's decision to add Ramji to the name of Dalit icon B R Ambedkar has also stirred controversy. So amidst all this anger and resentment. can the government reach out to india's dalits